Welcome to the warm-up. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings here in Lima. Patrick Campbell will join us momentarily. I'm Mark Kuntz as we're going to talk LCC Columbus Grove as they meet this Friday night at Columbus Grove. Joined now by the T-Birds head coach Scott Palti. And coach, before we get to this Friday's game, let's take a look back now. You guys are 2-1 and one on the season after a, a close victory against Bath Week 1, a, a tough loss to St. John's Week 2. Was it good to get out to Edgerton and really open things up and get a, I don't want to say an easy win, but statistically certainly an easy victory for you guys? Yeah, we, we made a lot of improvement from week two to three, and I thought our kids did a great job coming out last week and executing. And uh, you know, we had a long bus ride going an hour and a half to Edgerton, and they came out ready to play right from the start, and we got up on them and uh, had a nice, easy win. What have you learned from your team the last couple of weeks that maybe you didn't know going into this season? I've been really impressed with their effort. We've worked really hard from week one to week three. and We've been we're a much better football team now than we were when we started the season. I've been really proud of their effort and their practice habits and uh, coming to work each day after we lost week two. That was the best week of practice we've had all year. And you know, We're just going to keep getting better every, every week for the rest of the year. Defensively, Aiden O'Connor came up some big picks in that week one victory. Defense also came through pitching the shutout at Edgerton. Yeah, our defense has played well, actually. They've done a really great job on the season. They played well week one, actually played well week two. We gave the ball to St. John's in some, uh, in some inopportune uh, places for us. And then last week they had a shutout. So we've done some really good things on defense. We're hoping our offense can catch up with our defense. Health-wise, how's the team going into this week four matchup? We're very fortunate. We're very healthy. Our, our varsity guys are all healthy and ready to go, and uh, we have not suffered any uh, major injuries. So we, we're excited that we're healthy and ready to play this game. Certainly when you talk LCC, Columbus Grove football the last couple of years, there have been a number of storylines. Your predecessor, Coach Cooper, is at Grove for coming to LCC, and then you're at Grove now at LCC. You know these kids well. How much are you thinking about, man, I'm going up against these kids. I know these kids. I still coach on the baseball team. How much are you not even thinking about playing Columbus Grove? You're just focusing on LCC. Yeah, I, like I said earlier tonight, it really it's just another game on the schedule. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Columbus Grove, Delphus Jefferson, Spencerville. It's just another football game that we got to be ready to play and uh, come out and win. I mean, so I haven't really honestly put much thought into the fact that we're playing Grove. I, I coach at LCC now, and that's what I'm concerned about. Columbus Grove 3-0, and I think maybe surprising some folks. Are you surprised that Grove's undefeated? First time they've started off the year. 3-0 since 2011. No, I'm not. These kids work hard. They, uh, you know, tremendous work ethic. They've done, they do exactly what they're coached to do. And, you know, I'm familiar with that and the community support they receive. You know, there's some great young men sitting off to my left over here and I'm, they've worked hard and they deserve all the success they've had. Is this one of those things kind of like when brothers meet where <laughs> after the game you're going to enjoy it a lot more than during the game? Like I said, I don't know. It really is just another football game. I haven't really put any thought into who we're playing. And, you know, win or lose, I'm, it's, it's not going to be the end of our season either way. So we're going to move forward from here, whatever happens on Friday night, and get ready for Delphus Jefferson. LCC has dominated this series 8-2 and two against Columbus Grove since the series resumed. Do you talk about the history much? I mean, in the past there's been talk about intimidation factor that LCC sh just shows up and can intimidate Columbus Grove, or is that in the past? Well, that past, I'm a big part of that 8-2. and two. So, yeah, I don't really want to talk about those losses again. I've already experienced them once, and some of them are really tough, right down to the wire. No, not really. You know, we're worried about this year and uh, this football team, 2014, and that's all we're concerned with. Uh, I think people graduate, schemes change, so we're just focused on the now. Young team offensively, particularly with you with Ethan O'Connor at quarterback. What have you seen out of Ethan so far as your signal caller? I think he's gotten much better each week. You know, he's a very talented young man. He's got a lot of skill a good size, a good arm, and, you know, he didn't have played quarterback in a couple years, and each week he's going to improve and get better as he learns the offense and grasp it a little better, and, you know, he, he's just going to be a, you know, much better quarterback each and every week, and uh, you know, real excited. He's a junior, and we get to have him back again next year. Strength of this LCC program has been the skill position, kids, and despite losing some really skilled kids the last couple of years, it seems like you guys have just found some new guys to kind of plug into that, you know, the jet sweep and the, the fly patterns, and you can still hit those long home run balls. Yeah, we've got some good athletes. We've got some guys that can run and catch the football and, um, and uh, agile, but I'm really, I've been very happy with the play of our offensive line. They've played very well run blocking and pass blocking so far th this season, and, you know, they've done a great job as well. Coming off that victory over Edgerton, you got that mercy rule going because you had the big lead early on. Just interesting from a coach's perspective, this new mercy rule, how does that affect what you do once that mercy rule kicks in with that big lead in the second half? 
I think it depends on your bus trip. You know, you drive an hour and a half to Edgerton, you will do whatever you can to get that game over with so you can get home. That was an hour and a half away. I was, I was ecstatic about the new Mercy Rule the second half. It took about, I think, 20 minutes to play, and we were on the bus and home. But I think it's a good thing. You know, the game goes fast. We had plenty of reps for our young guys that they could still get, and uh, I, like, I like that rule. What has practice been like so far this week for you guys? It's been really good. Our kids, have, like I said, each week has gotten better. You know, this week's no different. They're really excited. You know, they, they read the newspaper. They see that Columbus Grove is state ranked and 3-0. and And, you know, they're excited about the opportunity to, to measure themselves as a football team against a state ranked football team on their home field. Friday night at Climber Stadium, what do you guys need to do to get a victory? I think it's, you know, obviously the most important thing, we can't turn the ball over. You know, we've had some problems turning the ball over, especially in the red zone. You know, we get down there, we got to score and take advantage of it. Two, we got to prevent the big play. They've obviously had a lot of big plays so far uh, this season against their opponents. We got to, you know, obviously make them work for their yards. And three, we got to create some big plays of our own. We got to, we you know, it's hard to drive the ball against a good defensive football team. We got to find a way to get some chunk plays and uh, make it a little easier on our offense. All right, thank you very much, Scott Balty, head coach of the LCC T-Birds. Two and one, they're heading up to Columbus Grove. We're going to take a timeout, and we come back on the warm-up. Patrick Cameron will sit down with a couple of those LCC players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up show. We are here at BW3. I'm Patrick Kamler in the backfield with a couple of T-Birds right now. To my right, senior Jack Huffman, and to my left, senior Dimitri Floyd. And Dimitri, I'll start with you. When you saw on the schedule that Columbus Grove was next, what went through your head? What was your first thought? Um, it's just another game, trying to get the win. Just another week, prepare ourselves to win. Jack, what did you guys um, take away from your win against Edgerton? You, you handled them pretty good, 45 nothing. but you take away, you try to take away something from every win or game no matter what. What did you guys get? Um, I, felt, I felt like the Edgerton win was a good win for us as a team. Uh, it it kind of was, a, kinda was a, the point where we felt like our offense really came together. Um, you know, we all kind of felt like we played really well as a team, played, played hard. Um, so I felt like that Edgerton win was kind of a, a win that kind of was able to help us set the tone so now we can take that into future games trying to play just like we did in that Edgerton game. You called it a bounce back game. Talk a little bit more about that. What what exactly helped you guys bounce back in that contest? Um, I mean, I think coming off the loss from St. John's the week before, um, it was, you know, it's there's it's just how you respond to adversity like that. And that's why I was really proud of that Edgerton game because, you know, coming off of a loss, and looking forward to the looking towards the rest of our season, you know the, the rest the reigning games look pretty tough, and we got a lot of tough teams on our schedule, like Grove this week, Spencerville, Bryan, um, Jefferson too are all you know a few tough games in the coming weeks that are going to be tough. Um, so I was just proud that we were able to take a loss from St. John's and come back the next week and play well like that, like we did against Edgerton. I thought uh, was a good was a good um, example of our character, and I was proud of it. Awesome. Dimitri, uh, going back to you, what, how was practice this week? What, did you guys, what have you guys done in prep for Columbus Grove this week? Um, it was uh, just a regular practice week. Um, after our loss, after uh, St. Saint, Saint John's, uh, we really started picking it up. We, fit, we realized that uh, nothing's going to come easy, so everything just started picking up, and practice has been a little bit harder. We've been working harder and just, just preparing for just go out there and play our best and try to win the game. You try not to look ahead on the schedule, but you've got Columbus Grove coming up, and as Jack mentioned, Spencerville, Delphus Jefferson, those guys are coming up. Ha, ha, knowing that those games are coming up, has that increased your guys' intensity in practice? Has that had any effect on what you guys do to prep week in and week out? Um, I think so. I mean, every week we got to come to play. So, I mean, we got you, you play like you practice, so you just got to come to play. All right, well, Dimitri, Jack, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll have a couple more T-Birds when we come back right here on the warm-up on WOSN.
We are here at BW3s for the warm-up show. I'm joined by a couple more Thunderbirds. This time to my left, senior Brad Stolle, and to my right, senior Aiden O'Connor. And Aiden, how, how has the season been, in your opinion, so far for you guys? Oh, it's been fun. It's been a fun year. Uh, it feels good to get uh, better every day and work harder with everyone. And so far, I'd say it's going pretty good. Talk to a couple of your teammates about Edgerton. When this, this is the first year for any type of mercy rule in high school football, when you guys get to that point, is there anything that kind of changes in your guys' mind? Like, is there like the, the gear shift or anything that you know you're up by 30? Is anything like that change in how you guys prep and, and carry out the game? Uh, I know for me personally, I just wanted to keep playing. I mean, it felt good to play well in a game, and I just wanted to keep going. So I kind of wanted the clock to slow down, but I see where they're getting the rule from. Brad, you had a 45 nothing win over Edgerton last week, coming off a loss to St. John's. First of all, what did you guys pick up, in your opinion? What did you learn from that St. John's loss? Well, uh, everybody learns from their mistakes, and we all had mistakes that game. And I think that Edgerton game was a really good confidence booster for us. And uh, hopefully we build off that and minimize our mistakes the next games. What specifically did you guys work on in practice between the St. John's and the Edgerton game? A couple of mistakes we made when we watched film, uh, running, running the routes hard for the receivers and uh, linemen, getting off, getting off the ball and getting good blocks. And it was just the fundamental stuff that we needed to work on. With a couple of difficult games coming up, you got Columbus Grove. A little further down the road, you got Spencerville, Delphus Jefferson. You're getting into the kind of the meat part of your schedule now, where you've been there all year. Does that intensify your prep at all? Has that changed how you guys prepare week in and week out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've been talking about our next four opponents could possibly be undefeated when we play them. And it's always, it's always a good feeling to ruin a team's season, like, like you say. And uh, so we're going to do our best and see what happens. Aiden, I'll ask you the same question I asked Brad. When you see tougher teams coming up, you got Spencerville, Jefferson, Grove this week. How does that affect your prep for going into the contest each oh, week? You know, uh, it helps us practice harder. I mean, we're trying to go 100% all the time in practice anyways, but, you know, it just gives you that extra edge and, uh, you know, work extra harder and, you know, just try to get better every day. All right, well, Aiden, Brad, guys, thank you very much for coming, and good luck this week. That's going to do it for our warm-up show here for BW3. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Patrick Candler. We'll see you next time.